All right, these tires are pretty much shot. Let's just go ahead and replace them with the uh, Andromeda equivalent. Oh no. Great. Well, one of the problems with uh, vintage vehicles like this are uh, lack of parts availability. Uh, this is my Sportworks Chaos 8.5mm hex, and the Dromeda wheel is a 7mm hex. I like the Dromeda wheels, they're readily available, they're well made, and I really want to be able to use a 7mm hex. But this is an 8.5mm hex equipped vehicle. So I did my research. Andromeda hubs, these being aluminum, because I'm going to upgrade them if I'm replacing them anyways, will basically fit where the original hubs do. I will need bearings for each hub, and that will allow me to use the Andromeda 7mm aluminum stub axles and hexes. They're a combo, it's, it's all in one. So let's go ahead and start ripping it apart, get this converted over 7mm, use some great tires, and run some great laps. Boom! There it is. Some uh, hot racing brand Dromeda hubs with aluminum Dromeda stud axles using the original dog bone and uh, only very slight shaving to the top and bottom of the hubs to make it work in there. And it fits. Dromeda wheels, which are 7mm, and uh, Dromeda offers a 7 to 12mm hex replacement or a adapter, so I will be able to get 12mm um, tent scale touring car tires to fit on this as well. I really like these Dromeda pins, these are super great. They come on the uh, Dromeda uh, buggies, and they are one of the best carpet racing tires for small scale vehicles that I've ever seen. I love them to death. Um, anyways, I also had to use uh, HSP, uh, I guess really it's a, a tow link, front and rear. Uh, I didn't foresee that, but the original ones were too long and splayed my wheels out too far. So, part numbers in order. HSP 86009, two of those. Let's make a pile. Hot racing part DMD 2103, aluminum steering knuckles, two of those. Drama to part DIDC 1102. Axle set aluminum, one of those, and sealed bearings. It's a Dromeda part number that is conveniently covered up, but they're the 8x12 sealed bearings. Uh, four of those. Altogether, this bill was a lot of money, uh, nearly $100, which is more than I spent on the car, but that's okay because these things are hard to keep running, and now I know that I won't ever break a hub, and I can find replacement wheels for it, which is great. Uh, let's get some video of it cruising around the track here and uh, call this one 
I don't know, can't really call them done. We'll call it maintained for now.